Google Earth and San Diego. Let's uh, see if we can view full screen. There we go. <coughs> full screen San Diego without using the mouse. Look, no mouse. Holding down the control key. Holding down the control key. Holding down the shift key. I can circle around. I've got the 3D San Diego turned on, or the 3D buildings turned on. And if I hold down the arrow key without the shift key, I move left and right. Hold down the arrow key, move in. The back arrow, or the down arrow, I move back. So let's circle San Diego. It's pretty cool, huh? You can see all the buildings. Let's go out a little bit. Actually, see if let's see if they put the Coronado Bridge. The Coronado Bridge is also in 3D. Doesn't look like it. We're streaming. You can see the streaming down here at the bottom, 23. And it takes a little bit of time. Oh, is that the Coronado? It looks like it. That looks like the Coronado Bridge. It is. <coughs> but you can see that it's not in 3D either, or as well. But that's okay. Um, it's pretty cool. You can see the boats in the San Diego Harbor right here coming in. You can see the Coronado Bridge right there. Let's go back and shift. And we'll go downtown San Diego. You can see that San Diego is laid out on a grid. Beautiful place. And circle around a little bit. There's the downtown area. There's the five. And now if I Use the Alt key, nothing happens. Slows down. Now I'm holding down the Shift key and I'm rotating up. And you can see the city from on high. Makes you almost a little, uh, makes you almost a little, gives you almost vertigo, doesn't it? We zoom down. Again, I'm holding down the Control key to zoom down. And Hold down the shift key, and I'm going to tilt. So I'm tilting. Shift and tilt. Now we're going to move forward. Rotate. Shift arrow. Let's go up 3rd Avenue. There's 3rd Avenue right there. You can see 3rd Avenue. Let's go back, and we'll zoom down 3rd Avenue. I don't know how many miles an hour. Let's zoom in a little closer and hold down the shift key, rotate. Gives you a little head spin, doesn't it? Now what I'm waiting for, and I'm sure everybody's waiting for it as well, is the ability to put images onto these polygons. Um, but holding down the arrow key, I move to the right, and that puts us on Union Street. Let's zoom down Union Street. Pretty cool, huh? And hold down the shift key and left arrow. It is passed through a building. You can do that in Google Earth. It's passed through it. Oop. And go through the building. I just we just went through a building. Let's zoom down. <coughs> down. I just passed through it. Zoom back out. Pass through it. Pretty cool, huh? You can see parking. Um, can guess the time this photo was taken by the shadows. I'm going to say around 2 o'clock, 2.30. But that's pretty cool, huh? So go get yourself a couple, uh, go get yourself a copy of Google Earth, and you can actually navigate quite well using 
the uh, arrow keys. We're going to zoom out into space now and tilt and rotate holding down the shift key rotate there's San Diego and the Cabrillo Bridge if I go out let's see if I tilt if I tilt anymore will they give me no it doesn't give me the sky, it doesn't give me the stars there it is San Diego let's zoom back down if you've already spent some time in a particular town you can uh, or in a particular location Google Earth will remember it for you and you'll be able to load your data much faster let's tilt back down give it into 3D perspective San Diego go visit it it's a great city um, it's much improved than over what it was many people will disagree with you or disagree with me on that but happy computing